Hello there, I'm Terry Graham, the Managing Director of Zerkatech. Zerkatech is a ceramic coatings company. We, uh, we effectively uh, protect components against damage from uh, heat, but also we provide uh, coatings that protect against wear, uh, abrasion, uh, fire protection. So today I'm going to talk you through some of our uh, key products. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you about uh, a coating that we do for exhaust systems, uh, so everything from the manifold right through to the tailpipe on a car. And uh, this coating is uh, it's plasma sprayed. It's uh, material that's our own proprietary ceramic uh, material. We basically fire that material through a plasma flame, we melt the material at 10,000 degrees, uh, we melt the uh, particles as they fire through the plasma flame, and when they hit the manifold, uh, or the exhaust pipe, or whatever uh, exhaust system component we're coating, they weld themselves in place, so they're very, very firmly adhered to the exhaust pipe. What does that do for the exhaust system? It basically reduces the temperature of the exhaust system by 33%. So if your exhaust, if the surface temperature uncoated is uh, at 900 degrees Celsius, then with our coating the surface temperature would be 600 degrees. So it significantly reduces the amount of heat that uh, escapes from the exhaust manifold or the exhaust pipe. What benefit does that offer a car? Uh, then it, uh, it reduces the uh, underbonnet temperatures significantly. We've got a race team uh, that uses our coating that reports a 50 degrees Celsius drop in underbonnet temperatures. Um, with a lot of uh, cars, uh, average temperature drop would be 30 degrees underbonnet. So that really is protecting a lot of the components under the bonnet. Uh, so cables, uh, uh, HT leads, um, hoses that might run close to the exhaust system are, are now protected by this uh, coating. Um, a little bit more about the coating itself. The coating is 0.3 of a millimetre thick, so very, very thin. It's very, very firmly adhered because of the process and the fact that we are a uh, high temperature process and welding the ceramic onto the exhaust system. It's really sort of, it is welded in place. And if I show you this, which is um, our performance white coating, on a, uh, a race bike exhaust. Now this exhaust has been, uh, it's been in an accident, it's been along the track at 70 mile an hour, so what's that, 85, 90 kilometers an hour. It's it been in a crash and you can see this is, uh, the coating has been certainly scraped off the exhaust, but it certainly hasn't peeled off or flaked off, it's, it's actually very, very robust. The exhaust system has also been bent through 90 degrees, so bent and then straightened out when it was taken off the bike, and you can see again, the coating is certainly damaged, but it's still still in place, and, and you could actually still use that coating. So very, very robust. Of course, this is performance white and is slightly absorbent. So you can see sort of oil stains, fingerprints. That's absolutely fine for race applications, but for some customers, obviously, aesthetics are also important. So to cover that, we've developed a range of 14 different colors, and that's everything from black, um, silver, red, blue, and if I was to show you just a sample of those coatings, we have a complete range of colours, so they are our 14 different uh, colours, and you can see some, some quite uh, uh, bright and vibrant colours through to some uh, very uh, calm uh, black, silver, and that, uh, those coatings are proprietary to uh, Zerkatec. So that's our exhaust system coating. What other products do we have? Well, we started our exhaust system coating. We did a lot of Formula One work, and uh, increasingly Formula One cars are using more and more carbon composites. And we were getting Formula One teams coming along to Zerkatec and saying, how can we present, protect the carbon composite on our uh, cars? And in response to that, we, uh, we've had our uh, design team developing a coating, again, it's a ceramic coating to protect carbon carbon composite components. And we've developed the technology, uh, we've uh, filed a patent application for that technology, and we can now apply a ceramic uh, coating onto carbon composite. And if I just show you an example of that, we have a, a wishbone from a Formula One car, and here you can see the carbon composite material. You can see the ceramic that we've sprayed onto the carbon composite to protect the carbon composite from heat, and you can see an aluminium overspray over the top of the cab, over the top of the ceramic, that again reflects radiant heat. And uh, in 2010, 
this coating was applied to more than 80% of the F1 uh, cars. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's reached a significant uh, level of uh, use within Formula One. Um, 2010 was a very good year for us because of the uh, technology in Formula One moving into blown diffusers where Formula One teams were rerouting their exhaust system um, in places where the exhaust wouldn't normally go and passing the hot exhaust gas over an aerofoil section and we were coating um, fairly large parts of some of the F1 cars. Um, we were caught, even coating the aerofoil sections that are normally made out of carbon composite and again the hot exhaust gases were damaging the carbon composite before our coating. Um, we also do front brakes on F1 cars and uh, various heat shields in the engine compartment. We've moved that technology on from F1 into other race series. Uh, we're also getting uh, some significant inquiries from other markets, so aerospace is, uh, is a key market for us now. Uh, what else can we use that coating for? Well, the same patented technology allows us to, to coat metals straight onto carbon composites. So we can literally put a layer of uh, copper or a layer of aluminium straight onto the carbon composite and that allows us to offer EMC protection so ele electromagnetic uh, radiation protection. Why is that important on a Formula One car or another series of cars? It stops stray signals from some of the high voltage, uh, high current uh, parts on a car getting into some of the key instruments in a car. And of course an F1 car is absolutely packed with uh, instrumentation and it, it really protects that instrumentation against uh, stray signals. So that's the second project I wanted, product I wanted to talk to you about. The third one is a, a heat shield material called Zircaflex. Zircaflex is uh, what we believe is the world's first flexible ceramic material. We've, uh, we've filed a patent application on this material. What you look at here is it's aluminium foil but it's got ceramic sprayed onto one side of it and that uh, basically is a flexible material, you can bend it, you can mould it to suit to fit bulkheads, you can mould it to fit pipes, you can mould it to fit various components in an engine compartment and basically what that does is it protects the component from heat. It's extremely lightweight, it's extremely thin, it's just 025 mm thick but it can drop the surface temperature, if that was applied to a bulkhead it can drop the surface temperature of the bulkhead down by 60%. So very, very effective. And again, it, uh, we launched our initial Zircaflex product one year ago. Sales have done really well. Um, again, in, in motorsport, we've sold this to quite a number of the F1 teams already. And we've been so encouraged by that that we've uh, now launched a number of new Zircaflex products, which is a double thickness and a triple thickness engineered Zircaflex product that allows even more thermal uh, heat protection. So this, this is actually an old Formula One manifold and you can see this, is, uh, this has got our performance white coating on and uh, it's an Inconel manifold, quite a complicated uh, structure but you can see that we've uh, succeeded in getting into all of the sort of very narrow uh, gaps in the manifold. Um, Probably a little bit more about uh, what are the benefits of the coating and where would you actually apply the coating. Well, some customers would just have uh, our coating on the manifold, and on the manifold, it would uh, certainly reduce the temperatures under the uh, bonnet in the engine compartment uh, and obviously protect any components close to the manifold. Uh, some customers would go on further down the pipe, so on the downpipe. If it's a turbocharged engine, then we do turbocharger uh, housing coatings. Again, why would you go that far? Why would you coat the turbocharger? Well, a number of reasons, really. It's reducing the heat under the bonnet because any surface that is hot is generating, is reduced, is allowing heat to go into the uh, engine compartment. Um, we are keeping the exhaust gases hotter, so the exhaust gases flow more quickly out of the engine. Uh, by keeping those exhaust gases hotter with a turbocharger engine, it allows the turbocharger to spool up far more quickly. So again, there's a there's actually a performance benefit there both uh, with the turbocharger and keeping the exhaust gases hot allowing the flow more quickly away from the engine. Um, some customers will even go further down the pipe if, uh, if their problem is uh, 
um, heat soak into the engine, into the passenger compartments. If the problem is uh, um, driver comfort, um, some cars the engine, uh, the exhaust system runs very close to the driver's feet, and again, customers will cut that part of the exhaust system. We even have some cars where we cut right from the manifold right through to the very tip of the tailpipe, and uh, this. Uh, I can't name them, but there's certainly a number of cars here at, at the Autosport show today with our coating right from the manifold through to the tailpipe. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. If we can answer any more of your questions, please contact Zerkatech. You'll find our website www.zerkatech.com and we'd happily answer any more questions that you might have. But certainly thank you for watching today and uh, have a good day.